Hi, my name is Rosa Smith and I'm in fourth grade and today I'm going to do my science project. This is my question. What happens when you put hot water versus cold water into the volcano? That is what we're going to find out today. Okay, so I'm going to put my fan on into my bottle and we're going to put a third of a cup of baking soda into the bottle. Okay, now we're going to put one teaspoon of dish soap into the box. Now we're going to put a half of a teaspoon into of glitter into the box. Okay, now we're going to pour in our hot water with food coloring. Okay, now it's time to see the reaction. We're gonna pour in a fourth of a cup of vinegar into the bottle. Three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, so that reacted really fast and it went up really fast. Now we're going to try it with the cold water. I'm gonna put the fennel on the bottle and we're gonna pour in a third of a cup of baking soda. Okay, now we're going to pour one teaspoon of dish soap. Now we're going to add half of a teaspoon of blue glitter. Now we're going to pour in the cold water with food coloring. Okay. And now it's time to see the reaction. We're gonna pour in fourth of a teaspoon of vinegar. Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay. So this one and the one that had hot water in it um, almost came up like the same. So my question was, what happens when you put hot water versus cold water into the volcano? Here is our answer. The hot water reacted a little bit faster because hot water has more energy than cold water. Energy equals molecules. I hope you like my science project. Bye.